Friday this evening, trying to catch a falling star. There was this little girl on her way to Broadway and perhaps even to stardom. And then, here's ABC's Beth Nissen. To find the right Annie for the revival, producers held a nationwide contest. Out of 2,000 girls who auditioned, they chose Joanna Pasiti, a 12-year-old from Philadelphia whose only performing experience was singing for customers in her dad's barber shop. Joanna rehearsed Annie for months eight hours a day, six days a week, before the show started its pre-Broadway tour late last year. But during the show's Boston run, Joanna developed bronchitis and lost her voice. In a classic showbiz turn, one of the chorus of Orphan Girls, eight-year-old Brittany Kissinger, stepped in for a few performances. The next thing Joanna knew, the producers of the $4 million show had given Brittany the lead role and fired Joanna, calling her very talented, but not the best actress for the part. Joanna is stunned and hurt. The girl that did take my place, she's a very good singer, she's a very good actress, and she's a very good, and I still don't know why they did this. I wish I did know. She is not the first Annie to have her Broadway hopes orphaned. One week into the first run of the original Annie, producers also replaced the lead with a member of the chorus, Andrea McArdle, who became a Broadway star. Theater people say Joanna has learned early that show business is what Annie calls a hard knock life, full of bad breaks for some and big breaks for others. In two weeks, Brittany Kissinger opens as Annie on Broadway. It's a hard knock road, be home, Beth Nissen, ABC News, New York. Get off, it's a hard knock mm. That is our report on World News tonight, later this evening on Turning Point, where they recorded the choice of the original Annie in a special. More on the two Annies and another story of, you've just seen a slice of, the rocky road to stardom. I'm Peter Jennings. Have a good evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.